Peace family. Welcome to another episode of YP Higher Perspective, where we review internet media content via news clips, entertainment, or just everyday recordings, and we give you a higher cognitive disposition on the subject matter at hand. Today, family, we're going to be giving a higher perspective on rapper known as Da Baby, D-A-B-A-B-Y, getting into a confrontation while out shopping with what appears to be an internet troll. And so, y'all know how we do before I give the higher perspective. We're going to pull up the uh clip, we're going to play it, and then I'm going to drop the higher perspective. And with that being said, as we always do, here go the clip, bam. Come on, you a bitch. Y'all look at that nigga the baby. That, that nigga the baby in here talking some shit. He walking up on me and shit like he about to do something. What you don't do? What you taking your shit off for? Scare ass nigga. Scare what? The police scare what? You're so scared, boy. Ooh, I'm so scared. Knock him out, me, Dolo, I'm the truth. Quit playing with me, boy. Quit playing with me, boy. Pick your pants up, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Fuck wrong with you. Hard cam, cold heart. Come on, you a bitch. Okay. Cut it off. Let me say this, okay? Let me just give the groundwork before I give the higher perspective, right? Let's say he would have beat the baby up, right? I wouldn't have lost no respect for the baby. You know why? You can't, you might not win every fight. That doesn't mean the integrity and morality or your manhood goes out of the window, okay? So here's my thing. Why do black people, specifically black men, why is masculinity so toxic in the black community that we're clout chasing like this? Over, you know, physical altercations. Are you less of a man if you lose a fight? No. Okay? So I don't understand what he was trying to approve. I mean, excuse me, what he was trying to prove. And this is why I say mental illness runs rampant in the black community and nobody wants to acknowledge it. Now let me give you a higher perspective, right? And let me show you what the baby showed me. What the baby showed the average foolish-minded soul is that he could, he could defend himself, right? Now, I know the troll wants to say he has security with him, okay? I don't care if he really did have security with him. You know why? This is what's wrong with black people. This right here, okay, is literally why we can't go nowhere. You don't see white celebrities getting into physical altercations with other white fans for clout. Why are niggas always challenging other niggas and trolling other niggas and trying to attack other niggas' manhoods for clout. Now, I can't lie and say I know the details, but I've been made aware that this same rapper, the baby, has gotten altercations in Walmart and while doing shows. And so my thing is this. Why y'all can't just salute that man for using his mind to make it out of his previous situation to where he's at now? Okay? You should be inspired. By what he's doing. Now I'm not saying all his lyrics are for children. I don't know. I don't know all his music. But what I'm saying is any black man that I see using their mind, okay, and using their talents to get ahead in life, nigga, I'm going to hold you down. Not pull you down, but hold you down. So I don't understand why we approve of this, okay? Because everybody's saying right now, Oh, that's why the troll got beat up, blocker, blocker, blocker. If he would have beat the baby up, the entire internet would be trying to act like the baby's not about that life and this, that, and the third. Even Mike Tyson lost a fight before, that, but it's still Mike Tyson. And so my thing is this. Why is uh, masculinity so toxic in the black community to where this is how we gauge each other now? Why is a black person always trying to test another black person? Okay? Now, let me tell you what else calls for a higher perspective on this situation outside of that point I made. When you want to talk about why are there so many black men in jail, okay? 
Everybody want to talk about systematic racism, which is a part of it, yes. Why are we not talking about suicide psychologically in a black community? What do I mean by that? Niggas like this fat, ugly, cornrow wearing ass nigga, okay, is the reason so many niggas is in jail. Because you can't be successful around niggas like this. You can't be happy around niggas like this. No matter what you do, this the type of nigga, if you graduating from college, he gonna try to play you like you saw and call you a nerd. Now you gotta now you gotta now you gotta beat him up, risk losing your job, because he's an ignorant nigga. This the type of nigga where if you somebody like the baby and you successful, now he wanna try to clout chase and get some get some get some uh some praise off you, now you gotta kill the motherfucker and go to jail for life. So the conclusion is it's dangerous to be around other black people if you're black. Especially if you're successful. You know why? Cause niggas make you kill them. Niggas is miserable, they don't have nothing to lose, and they don't have a problem putting you in a position to where you gotta lose everything. So the niggas like him is walking landmines, okay? And then the nigga is such a demon, okay? Cause we talking about psychological abuse. This nigga wanna now, and niggas do this shit everywhere. A nigga wanna convince you to not have no security when you become a public figure, okay? Now I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't have security. But what I'm saying is, your mentality should determine if you have security or not. The baby don't got nothing to prove to the internet. I don't know if he has security or not. I didn't see no security. But if he did, good. You know why? Because the baby's obligation is not to you troll ass motherfuckers who want to see this nigga. He's not a boxer. He's a rapper. He shouldn't be fighting on the fucking internet. So my thing is, he got loved ones that I'm pretty sure that depend on his success. Why would he not have security to make sure when he leave out his house every day, he make it back to his house? So now you got clout chasing niggas like this that will try to psychologically convince you to give them an open doorway to make you sacrifice your success by doing them bodily harm or allowing them to do you bodily harm. And the, the way that they try to manipulate you now is I seen a video of this nigga talking about some nigga leave your security. Where you your security? Why you got security? What you mean, why you got security? Motherfucker, because I'm somebody important. What you talking about? You can't beat Mike Tyson. And every time Mike Tyson walked to the ring, security escorted him to the ring. And that nigga, the, secu the security needs security for him. So what are you talking about? It's called protocol. And black people don't know how to evolve into a mental state of professionalism. And this is what's wrong with niggas, okay? And so I'm just giving a public service announcement. If you a successful black person, get away from these niggas, okay? I don't mean all black people. I mean niggas. I mean nigga moment boondocks type of niggas. These stink meaner ass niggas. This is stink meaner nephew right here that we just seen, okay? That was stink meaner nephew. Get away from these niggas. Because these niggas don't want to live for nothing. They ain't never had nothing. Niggas ain't never been nowhere in life. Motherfucker probably ain't never been to, been to three states. Nigga don't even know, nigga, nigga probably can't even read good. But the nigga want to clout chase you and get into a fight with you in the inter on the internet because he wants attention. And then that's childish. But then if you treat the nigga like a child, he going to feel like you attacking his manhood. And so the reason there's so much black men in jail is not only because of systematic racism. Okay, that's a part of it. But why are people blatantly forgetting Toxic masculinity. Okay? So next time y'all bring up black on black crime. I mean, excuse me. Next time y'all bring up uh, prison statistics or niggas that's in jail. Make sure you throw in toxic masculinity. Because that's definitely a part of it. Niggas will make you kill them. That's it. That's a nigga, It's like niggas got a death wish. Why if I'm in the hood and I got a big chain on and this is where I come from. Why you want to rob me? Shouldn't you be trying to work with me. I'm pretty sure I'm willing to work with you. So it's just like Lil Boosie said, okay? You're going to get the most hate from your own city. And that's true. And so, you know, I'm not dick riding anybody. I'm just telling the truth like I always do. Not only am I talking to the rapper, the baby in this one, I'm talking to all up and, all up and coming black people in any field of professionality. I mean, excuse me, any field of business, whether you're a rapper, a motherfucking computer technologist, a goddamn uh, a neurosurgeon, whatever. 
Get away from these miserable ass niggas. Because they not going to do nothing but make you sacrifice the hard work that they don't have the willpower to put in. These niggas don't live for nothing. They don't want nothing. And the shit that they believe are goals and achievements are really be be beneath the rubber on your shoe. And so the thought patterns of the average clout chasing nigga is in the, sh should be in the area of mental health issues. These niggas have mental health issues and they all need some psychiatrists. But nobody wants to hear that. Okay, so I want to let y'all know because it's probably not going to stop, but I just want to put it out there. Cloud chasing is not cute. Trying to start beefs or, rat or, or, or fights with other successful black people for views on the Internet is not cute. It shows the rest of the world that we have a mental illness and it subconsciously justifies the way that we're treated by every other race. So I'm here to let I'm here to just put the question out before I end this video. Why you don't never see a group of white girls trying to fight Taylor Swift when she in them all? Why you don't see a group of white boys trying to fight goddamn Ashton Kutcher when he's out in them all? Why is it always a nigga when they see another popular or celebrity status black person, they want to pick a fight? They pull their phone out. This is not the first time. People do this all the time. And then my thing is this, okay? If, 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 if that's okay, okay, which is not. Why are we judging other black men by if they get beat up or not? Why are we not judging them by the work that they do? Okay? Why? Why are we doing that? If the baby would have got beat up, okay? Is he still not, does he still not make good music that you like? Okay? Is he still not popping right now? He just lost the fight. So what? And so my thing is, we got to clean up our standards, period, as black men. This is a conversation for black men. We have to stop judging each other outside of what we're bringing to the table. If a nigga, okay, only time you should be judged on if it matters if you win a fight or not is if you're a professional fighter. If you're not a professional fighter, it don't matter if you get beat the fuck up on the street. Because that's not how you make your money, asshole. Duh. Only time it matters if you lose a war is if you're a soldier. What the fuck? Civilians get killed every day. Nobody be like, oh, that... That's a weak-ass militia. No, they're civilians. Nigga is a civilian. The, ba the baby is a civilian. He's not a professional fighter. Why is y'all sitting here trying to get clout off of trying to fight this man? What is you doing? And so, toxic masculinity needs to be spoken on, okay? Because not just the, the present-day black man of age, but all of these young youths running around it, it are potentially victims of toxic masculinity. And the reason that it needs to be extinguished, and I'm going to end on this. The reason it needs to be extinguished is because what it does is it allows demonic spirits to have a fictitious illusional excuse to not only exist, but exercise their evil, haterous, jealous intent on you for no reason. Okay? And so, people who are entertained by wickedness allow niggas like this to exist because they're entertained by it. Okay? And so, as long as we keep approving... And allowing toxic masculinity to exist. We're going to keep having situations of destruction. Now, let me give you a prime example of toxic masculinity, okay? Nipsey Hussle. We allow haters to exist. Okay? You see what they did to Nipsey Hussle. Luckily, this nigga was only trying to fight. What if you did some sucker shit and killed the baby? And shot him in the middle of the mall for clout? Because you got niggas that will throw their life away for clout. Then will it still be funny? Would that still be funny? Oh, I'm a tough guy. I'm a gangster because I'm hating on a nigga and I killed him in the mall for clout. Are you serious? Are you serious? And so this not only breeds distrust amongst black men, okay? This breeds savage, a, a savage imprint upon us as black men in the eyes of the rest of the world. And so... Motherfuckers wonder why we get treated so shitty and they blame it on racism, which is a big part of that. But nobody never wants to blame it on how we treat ourselves. You know why a lot of you motherfuckers don't litter when you go to the suburbs? Because it's clean. Because they don't litter. You know why you litter when you're in the hood? Because everybody else littering. Period. Period. You treat people, places, and things the way that people, places, and things treat themselves. Period.
That's a fact. And so we got to start treating each other better as black men. I don't give a fuck if your ego don't like me saying that. I don't give a fuck if your bitch ass mentality don't like me saying that. Next time you see a nigga winning, shake his motherfucking hand and tell him good job, bruh. Share a shit in your motherfucking story. Tell somebody to go listen. I share shit all the time that I don't even listen to. You would think I listen to it. I don't really give a fuck to listen, but I'm going to share it anyway to make sure you make sure it go where it's supposed to go. Some shit I just, I don't, I'm not on the frequency on, I don't want to hear, but I'm not going to stop the frequency you try to get to. So, we can throw each other a bone, even if you don't eat bones. Why we can't do that? So, I'm tired of it. And I'm tired of niggas approving fuck shit, dog. And it's time for niggas to speak on it. Women have to dictate womanhood in a healthy manner. That's not my area. But men have to dictate manhood in a healthy manner, okay? This ain't about kumbaya, hold hands, and be friends with all niggas, because I don't like all niggas. But this is about stopping wickedness and not allowing evil, hater, jealous-ass, clout-chasing niggas to have an excuse to exist and do the wicked shit they want to do because they falsely justifying it in the name of clout. And so with that being said, I wish that every black man out there, no matter what you're doing to become successful, you're successful. And I hope that in your success, you do something that guarantees the success of the up and coming generations behind you, whether they be your children or somebody else's, and that look like you. And I hope that also you get away from these bitch ass niggas and do not allow these niggas to convince you, trick you, or play you not only out your success, not only out your freedom, but out of your life. Because life is good. And it's only bad when you hang around motherfuckers with bad intent. And with that being said, family, this has been another episode of YP Higher Perspective. I hope that this video has not instigated any negative uh, energy or intent towards anybody mentioned. I hope that this video has not manifested any negative intent or energies within you. I hope that this video has done nothing else than enlighten you and educate you on the mental illness in regards to this situation at hand and help blossom within you, specifically within black men, that we need to come together and support one another genuinely and wholeheartedly and wholeheartedly initially versus trying to versus trying to clout chase initially. And with that being said, family, I love y'all. Peace.